Okay, so I was scrolling through with Sephora over the weekend and I saw that there are a bunch of new Sephora favorites kits. I think a lot of people tend to get excited about those because they do include a lot of brands. And usually Sephora is really good about including a good amount of value compared to what you pay. Sometimes when other brands release kits or include minis, they don't always do that. And I'm going to go through some of those in today's video as well. Basically just break down all of the new value and gift sets available at Sephora and let you know which ones I think are worth trying, which ones are probably worth skipping over. So I'm filming this video video on Monday. It's either going to go up on Monday or Tuesday, depending on when I can get it edited. And everything is currently in stock. I think these kits have actually been out for a few days, so they haven't sold out yet. But in general, the Sephora favorites kits do sell out fairly quickly. So let's go over this first one. It's called the It's Giving Lip Value Set. So it retails for $42. So this actually comes with five different lip products and three of them are full sized. So the first full size product in the kit is from Summer Fridays. It's one of their lip butter balms. This one is in Pink Sugar. I actually haven't tried this specific one, but I do love the Summer Fridays lip balm so much. They are my absolute favorite. So it's really nice to be able to get this in the kit. And in general, they are very, very well loved. So I like that they included one of their newest options. I think the actual newest launch is iced coffee, but I think Pink Sugar came out right before that. The second full size product in here is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump in the shade Rosy Mauve. So this is I don't know if this is one of their newest shades, but it is one of their shimmer finishes. So those two products alone are worth more than the cost of the kit. The kit's 42 and those two products together are 50. The third full size product in here is from Makeup Forever. It's their long wear lip liner in the shade Wherever Walnut, which is described as a warm rose nude. It kind of looks like most of the shades in here have like a pinky rosy feel to them. So again, it might be worth taking a closer look at swatches to make sure you'll actually wear these shades. I haven't tried the Makeup Forever liners. They are worth $24 each, but I feel like everyone talks about them. This one, and then there's another one that I feel like people are always using online when they are lining their lips or sharing their lip combos. Just a note, Makeup Forever is not cruelty-free, and I just want to point that out because I do only use and feature cruelty-free brands, but I do want to point out that some of the products in the Sephora Favorites kits might not be considered cruelty-free, so you might want to take a look into that, but I'll make sure to differentiate if I know for sure. This next brand is not cruelty-free either, Clarins. They included their Lip Comfort Hydrating Lip Oil in the shade cherry. So this is a mini. It's like a tiny little baby mini. It comes with 0.04 ounces, which is actually one fifth the size of the full size product. So keep in mind, you're not getting a ton of product in here, just so you're not surprised when you actually open it up and you see a tiny little lip oil. It's worth about $6. So just something to know, I would probably consider it like an extra that's included in the kit. And then the second mini is from Kosas. It's their weightless lip color. It's their nourishing satin lipstick in the shade Daydream. This is worth $9.29. It's a little bit bigger than the lip oil. It's about one third the size of a full size lipstick, which I feel like is a pretty good amount, especially if you're someone who does not run through lipstick very quickly like me. So as a whole, I feel like the lip colors in this kit do seem to go really well together and you could probably mix and match them. And in the end, like none of the lip products are the exact same formulas. There's a lip oil, a lipstick, one of those like glossy click up lip pens, an actual lip balm and a lip liner. And all five of the brands seem to be pretty well loved, very popular brands these days. So I do think this is actually a really good kit. It does have a value of $89.29. So it's like twice the value compared to what you pay at $42. The next kit I'll talk about is the Sephora Favorites Gleamy Dreamy Makeup Set. So this one retails for $56. You get nine different products in here and kind of a mix in all different categories of makeup, but they do have three full-size products. They say the inspiration behind this kit is like a no makeup makeup look, perfect for either summer days or summer nights. Let's talk about the full-size products first. So one of the full-size products is from Tower 28. It's their Milky Lip Jelly in the shade Pistachio. This is worth $16. I do have this one. It's described as a semi-sheer milky nude pink. I do love that formula. I feel like it's a very slippery, glossy gloss. It kind of borders on like lip oil territory as well. But if you like something very thin, very slippery, very glossy and shiny, that is a really nice product. You also get a full-sized Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze Gel. This is worth $26. I tried this years and years ago and I kind of wonder if I would like this type of formula now, but at the time I didn't love it because it really locked my brows into place. Like it was a very extreme hold brow gel. From what I remember, it kind of felt like I hairsprayed my brows into place, but that is something 
something that a lot of people like and maybe even more so during the summertime when it's super hot outside. You also get a full-sized Milk Makeup Dewy Cream Highlighter Stick in the shade Lit, which is described as a champagne pearl, and that is worth $24. I do have that product too. I kind of feel a little bit indifferent toward the Milk Makeup Cream Sticks. Like their bronzers, their blushes, and their highlighters, they're good, but they're not necessarily my favorites. I honestly feel like when I wear them, I'm happy with the way my makeup looks, the way my makeup wears, but there isn't really a quality about them or multiple qualities that make me want to reach for them over other products in my collection. Like they're not extra glowy, extra blendable or anything like that. Okay, moving on to the minis in this kit. The first one that I wanna mention, I think comes with a good amount of product in here. It is a mini, but you get two thirds the amount you get in a full size bottle. So it's almost a full size product. It's from Say. It's their Dew Blush in the shade Baby, which which is a cool baby pink. And this is worth about $15. So I do really like that formula. I think it looks amazing. It looks very dewy, very glowy. It's really easy to blend out and it almost has a little bit of like a sheer natural quality to it. So I do think it is a perfect option for like a no makeup makeup look. The second product in here is not makeup, it's body care. I feel like I, if I was buying this kit, I could probably do without this and I'd rather have like an actual makeup product, especially from Rare Beauty. But this is the Rare Beauty Hydrating Body Lotion. So it's worth 1064. The next product is from Drunk Elephant. So this is a skincare product, but I feel like it does kind of fit the theme a little bit. It's the Be Goldie Drop. So the full size comes with one ounce for $38. The mini is pretty small. It comes with 0.16 ounces. It has about a $6 value or $6.08 to be more specific. I almost think the bronzing drops would have been a little bit more fun to get in this kit or the blush drops just because the focus is like no makeup makeup, but maybe they were trying to include something a little bit different than the bronzing drops because those are pretty popular. The next thing in here is something that I feel like comes in a lot of Sephora favorites kits, the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This one is their vitamin C version, so it's a little bit different. It comes with a pretty small amount. It comes with half an ounce, so it's worth $4.50. There's a mini of the Hourglass Veil Translucent Loose Setting Powder in this kit, which I know is a very beautiful formula. I tried it a few years ago and it is gorgeous. I think it's nice they included it. They do have a pressed version now, so maybe it would have been nice to see that since it is a newer launch, but I think that does come in multiple shades, whereas the loose version is just like one translucent shade. So they do have a mini on Sephora's website for $25, which is a lot. Sometimes minis are a good deal, sometimes they aren't, but when I'm doing these videos, I always calculate the price by taking the price per ounce compared to the full size product rather than seeing if they have a mini on Sephora's website because usually the price on those isn't really equivalent. So just something I wanna point out, when you break it down price per ounce compared to a full-size product, it's actually worth about $9.70. The last product in here is the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. So again, they do sell a mini for 13, but compared to how much you get in a full-size mascara, it's worth about 1037. So when I did the math, the value came out to be about 122.29. They said 140, which again, they're factoring in the retail cost of the minis available on Sephora's website. So you can go with that if you think it's a little bit more accurate. But not a bad deal. You're paying less than half of what this kit is worth when you're buying it for $56. I think some of the comments online think that $56 is too much for a Sephora favorites kit, which I definitely understand because I was reading a comment and it looks like year after year they raised the price of the Sephora favorites kits. That's kind of the case with the beauty industry as a whole and really every other industry. I saw this TikTok I thought was so interesting. The person like placed a grocery order, I think in 2023, and then they added everything to the cart. And in 2024, the prices had gone up and instead of being like $100, it ended up being $400. So everything is so expensive now. And because all of these products alone are more expensive than they used to be, I think that makes sense that the Sephora Favorites kits would be a little bit more expensive too. So you really have to take into account whether or not you think they are worth it to you personally. Will you use every product in there? Do you like the shades? Would you end up purchasing these products separately? If the answer is no, then it might not be worth it to you. So that's just something to keep in mind. I can sit here and break down the value all day long and say like, yes, this is worth it. You pay $50, but it's worth twice that. But the truth is, if you're not going to use the products, most or all of the products, then it really won't be worth it to you. Value really is very subjective. And even though the monetary value might be there, you really have to take into account whether or not you personally would have purchased those products or you would actually incorporate these into your routine. Okay, I think this kit might be the most popular out of the four 
four favorites kits in today's video with the exception of maybe perfume, but this is the Blush and Glow Makeup Value Set. It's $65. It comes with seven products and four of them are full size. And because everyone seems to be obsessed with blush right now, I feel like this one could sell out probably the fastest. So as for the four full size products, you do get a beauty blender, which is worth $20. That's the only product in here that isn't actually a cheek product, but it's a tool that you could use to apply the cheek products. You do get the Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Plumping Blush Veil in the shade Perfect Pink, which is described as a cool pink. I actually don't have this shade, but I do have two other blushes in this formula, and I do think it's a really pretty formula. This is worth $30. I don't know that everyone is going to love this formula because it's basically like a balmy cream. It's very natural on the skin, very lightweight. It looks pretty sheer overall, but I feel like you can build them up to some extent, especially if you go with a deeper shade. I think this is the shade that everyone is saying Sabrina Carpenter wears, and I know people love her makeup. Her makeup is so gorgeous. I feel like I could never pull it off, but if you've been wanting to try this one, it's a nice way to get it with some other products as well. They did include the Glossier Cloud Paint, their gel cream blush in the shade Puff, which is a light cool pink. And again, that's a full size. It's worth $22. And then you also get a full sized Merit Day Glow Dewy Highlighting Balm in the shade Bounce. I love this formula. This is one of the most beautiful highlighters out there. It honestly just melts into the skin in the most beautiful, natural way. And it is very glowy, very intense, but because it is such a light cream and just kind of like this melty formula, it looks amazing on the skin. And you can wear it with more of a natural look or wear it on top of heavier makeup and it looks really good either way. As for the minis, you do get the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Blush in the shade Joy. This one's worth about $10.12. And I think this is always, you know, something that people love trying because the Rare Beauty blushes are gorgeous and a little bit goes such a long way. You really don't need a full size option if you don't wear the blush every single day. The Iconic London Prep Set Glow Hydrating Glowy Setting Spray in the original tone. This is worth $7. 25. I haven't tried this, but I feel like people love this product so much. If you love a glowy setting spray, this might be a great option. And then you also get the Basma Cream Blush in Fuchsia, or is it Basma? Their foundation stick has actually been on my Sephora loves list for a little while. I do want to pick that up, but this looks like a pretty color. I will say on their website, I was trying to figure out the retail value of this. I couldn't find the amount that came in this compared to the full size product, but they do give one of these away with every purchase on their website, or you can buy it for 14. So I'm just going to count it as like a $14 value. Okay, so when you break it down, the full size products alone are worth $104. And then everything together is $135.37. Again, they say $146, which might be, you know, how you value it, depending on whether or not you go with the retail value of the minis or if you prefer to compare them price per ounce to the full size products, but it's not that far off. I think it's a really good kit if you love blush and highlighter. Keep in mind that not everything is an actual blush or highlighter. There's a beauty blender. So if you hate beauty blenders or you don't use use them, maybe take off $20 when it relates to value for you personally. And then there is a glowy setting spray, but everything else is an actual cheek product. There are a lot of popular formulas in here, a bunch of gorgeous shades, really perfect for the summertime. So I do think this is a nice option. If you tend to wear very muted or natural blush or natural highlighter, this might not be the kit for you. But again, I feel like they put a little bit more thought into their Sephora favorites kits this time around, included and included a lot of really high in demand products and brands that people are excited about. So I personally think this is a great option too. It's pretty pricey at $65, but you are getting four full size products. So if you really do want to try those brands or those products, then it might be worth it to you. Sephora also did three different new fragrance kits. I'm not going to go through them in as much detail because they're all very, very similar, except for the fact that you get different fragrances within each one. But sometimes when it comes to their perfume kits, their fragrance kits, they do different different options. Like they'll do a lot of mini samples and then sometimes they'll do deluxe size samples where you get like a lot more product or you actually get like mini perfume bottles of each scent within the kit. These all come with a voucher. So you can either redeem the voucher for a travel size fragrance or a full size fragrance depending on the kit. And I'll just kind of go through them because they all have a little bit of a different theme. The first one in here is the vanilla perfume discovery scent. If you love vanilla scented fragrances, this might be a fun one to try because you do get to try out eight different fragrances. 
ounces. Now keep in mind, each sample comes with 0.05 ounces, so they're not really worth a ton, but you do get the chance to wear them at home throughout the day to see if you like the way the scent smells on you. They do have a lot of bestsellers in here, a lot of popular scents. I'll put a list of the different brands on the screen for you just in case you're curious. So this one is $34. They're saying $58 in value. The value really comes down to which travel fragrance you decide to redeem your voucher for. So like I said, this does come with a voucher and you can either take it into a store or go on to sephora.com and get a travel sized fragrance of any of the eight that are included in this kit. So some of them are a little bit more expensive than others. It depends on which one you want to try, which one really appeals to you. If you really love one of these scents and you would have purchased it anyway, it might be worth checking to see if it costs more than $34 and then purchasing this kit so you can get the gift card or the voucher and redeem it for your scent and then end up saving a few dollars anyway. The other travel kit is just called the Travel Spray Perfume Discovery Set. So this one is $34 as well. And again, it comes with eight different fragrances. They say this one has a $60 value. So I'm assuming some of the fragrances in here are a little bit more expensive. And it just says that these come with some of the best selling fragrances from florals to fresh solars and fruit scents. I do love trying new fragrances, but I don't know that any of these are on like my immediate want to try list. Oh, the Seven Virtues Coconut Sun. I just got that one in my Scentbird and it smells so good. It has been like my go-to fragrance this summer. So just another one that I wanted to point out. If you want a voucher for a full-size perfume, there are two different options. The first one is the Clean Perfume Sampler Set. Now this is a lot more expensive. It's $88. Now keep in mind, they're not including any deluxe size perfume sizes within this kit. You're just getting eight samples, but you can redeem it for one of the full-size perfumes, which they say it has retail value of 142 and again depending on which one you buy that might be true it might be a little bit less probably not more I would say but this comes with brands like by Rosie Jane Commodity Dead Cool Ellis Brooklyn Henry Rose a couple of others and again the theme for this kit is just that they are all clean beauty brands if that's something that matters to you personally it's not something that I tend to look for I would more so see if I wanted to try these perfumes but again you can always go into a Sephora store and try them on there I don't live near a Sephora store so some Sometimes these are kind of nice to get. The other one that you can redeem for a full-size fragrance is the best-selling perfume sampler set. So again, $88, which I don't know, that does seem very high. Only because in the past they've done like those more expensive perfume sets, but I don't remember them being that expensive and not including like at least a few deluxe size bottles. But I might be off because I don't typically buy them for me. Sometimes I buy them as kits, but usually I'm like good with a travel size. So I just stick with Scentbird. Or if I really want to buy one, I'll just buy like a travel rollerball or travel spray. This kit comes with 10 different samples. So you get like an additional two products to try on and choose from. And this one ranges from florals to warm and spicy to fresh and citrus scents. So they have Commodity, Dead Cool, Glossier, Juliet Has a Gun, Marc Jacobs, Fleur, Prada. Like there are a ton of brands included in this one. So what do you think about the fragrance gift sets this time around? Fragrance is interesting to me because I feel like it has absolutely exploded. Like people have fragrance channels, fragrance TikToks, Instagrams, and I do like trying fragrances, but I feel like they're so hard to know if you'll like them just by watching someone's review on them or someone talking about them. I feel like you have to actually try it on yourself. And I've purchased a few really popular or hyped up fragrances and they haven't exactly worked out for me personally because it is so personal. Like I could spray it on me, you could spray it on you and it could smell completely different. And I do feel like the notes that people pick up on are really different too because your nose might just be drawn to different notes overall. So I just wanted to point those out in case you are interested in the Sephora fragrance sets. Those might be a good deal to you. They might not. It just kind of comes down to whether or not you would like to try some of the different scents available in each kit. Okay, that is it for Sephora favorites kits. There are some other value sets that I want to talk about in today's video. So let's start with makeup. Danessa Myricks has their new mini yummy skin blurring besties prime set and color kit. Kind of a long name, but this one is $22. It's actually going to be available on July 16th. So it's not available yet, but it will be up within the next day if this video goes up on Monday. So it comes with the mini yummy skin blurring balm powder in the shade universal, which is a translucent shade. And this is worth $12. It comes with about one third the amount of products you would get in the full size one. And I actually think that's a good amount of product because I do have a full sized blurring balm. I swear I could use that every single day and I would 
would barely make a dent in it because it's the type of product where you just need a very, very small amount. So I actually think that mini is a nice size. You also get a mini yummy skin blurring balm powder flushed in the shade rosé and brunch, which is a neutral rosy pink. So that's basically their blush. And it's about half the size of a full size blush. So that one looks a little bit smaller. But again, I just feel like such a little bit goes a really long way with this product. That's worth $13.10. I actually got a set like this during the holiday season. I was going to give it as a gift. And then when it came down to it, like I had all of my gifts already set. So I ended up with like one or two extra gift sets. So I decided to try that one out myself because I hadn't tried their blushes. And I have to say the blushes are really beautiful. They're so interesting. I feel like if you have oily skin and you're looking for a type of cream blush, this is a really nice option because it does have more of a matte finish. It stays in place really well and it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. This kit has a value of $25.10. They claim $28. I mean, the kit is $22, so it's not an amazing savings, but I do think it's a nice way to try out two products rather than buying two full-size products, especially when it comes down to this kit because those are the types of products that you won't run through super quickly. I'm thinking about grabbing this next one myself. I love the Lawless Lip Gloss is so much. And Lawless usually does a really great job with their kits too. This is the Daisy Plumping Gloss and Lipstick Duo. So it's $35 and you get a full-size gloss, which is worth $26 and a full-size lipstick, which is worth $28. Both of them come in the shade Daisy Girl, which is kind of like a lighter, brighter pink. So you pay $35, but the value is $54. It's basically like paying for the lip gloss and then getting the lipstick for $7, which is a great deal. I've actually been wanting to try their lipstick formula for a little while. I've heard really great things and because I love the lip glosses so much, I feel like the lipsticks have been on my list. Honestly, if these came in like some sort of nude duo, whether it was like a lighter nude or a darker nude, I'd probably buy it immediately. I just don't know if I would wear the pink a ton. I do feel like the Lawless glosses end up being a lot softer on the lips than they tend to look in the online swatches. This next kit is from Refai. This doesn't come out for a few days. It's going to launch on July 19th, so just something to know in case you do want to try it. It comes with a mini face primer and a mini brow gel. So I've seen a lot of people using this face primer, but I feel like I always hear people say it's not really worth the hype. It comes with a roller on it. So basically it's meant to kind of sculpt the face as you apply the primer. And the primer itself is supposed to be really hydrating and leave you with a glowy finish. I don't know if it's one of those gimmicky products that people just use as they're doing like a get ready with me or they're doing a TikTok or an Instagram, or if it is a really good face primer. You also get their brow gel. And when you break it down, the mini face primer is worth it. $12.39 and the brow gel is worth $8.57. So the kit is only worth $20.96 and it costs $28. So you actually pay a good deal more than it's actually worth. This is one of the worst values I've seen when it comes to like an actual value kit because you're paying a good amount more than what it's actually worth. I do think, you know, in the end, if you really wanted to try these products and you didn't want to commit to the full size version, maybe it would be worth it to you, but I just think they could have maybe included a little bit more product or an extra thing in there to make it worth the actual $28 because you're really only getting $20 worth of product. So personally, I would recommend skipping over this one. I don't think it's a great deal. They did another kit that I talked about in my last video that was a pretty good deal. So I I know they're capable of creating a really good kit. I think they're just trying to capitalize on the fact that these are really popular products and maybe not include as much product as they could have for the price. Glow Recipe actually has a new kit. This is in collaboration with a TikTok creator named Katie. I haven't seen her videos. Maybe I've seen them. I just, TikTok's weird because when you follow someone, it's hard to know. Like I follow a lot of people, but I don't, I don't get connected with them in the same way as I do a YouTuber. So I might follow them and I'll be like, oh, I love this one creator. And then honestly, I don't remember their name or what their profile is. So it's hard to find them. Anyway, these are her Get Ready With Me Essentials. So you do get the Watermelon Glow PHA and BHA Pore Tight Toner. So this is worth $9.32, although they do sell a mini for $16. So if you only wanted to try this, it might be worth buying that, even though it is a little bit more expensive than what it's actually worth. You also get the Plum Plum Hyaluronic Cream. And again, they sell a mini for $21, but it's actually worth about $15.76 when you break it down. And then there is a mini Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Hue Drops in here, which is worth $12.96. In the end, it's worth about $38.04 if you compare the value of the minis to the full-size products, 
or $49.96 if you factor in the retail cost of the minis. I don't, what's more helpful when I'm filming these videos? Is it more helpful for me to compare the value to the full size products or to take the price of any minis available on Sephora's website and factor those in? I feel like the first way is a little bit more accurate, but the second way is maybe a little bit more realistic as to what the kit is actually worth. Just let me know what you think because I feel like that really came into play in this video. Anyway, the kit itself is worth $40. So honestly, not the best savings compared to what I've seen from Glow Recipe and not really a savings at all if you go with the first total I shared. I honestly think they have some better options on their website and even on Sephora's website, there are a few other Glow Recipe kits currently available. I will say I was on the Glow Recipe website the other day and they do tend to have more kits than what you just see on Sephora's website, but they also have the option to build your own kit which I thought was really helpful. I don't know exactly how the savings will fully come out and it probably depends on which products you include in your kit. But if you love Glow Recipe and you want to kind of build your own value kit, that might actually be the way to go instead of going with one of their pre-made kits that has very specific products in it. But they do tend to have a lot of great kits and if you don't see one that you want on Sephora's website, maybe check their website because they sometimes have exclusive options or different options on their own brand website. Okay, this came out a few weeks ago, but I did want to mention it. Kayali actually came out with a perfume set called Vacation in a Bottle, and it's $100 for four different deluxe size perfumes. When they were kind of teasing this online, I was so interested because a lot of the perfumes sounded like they were going to be amazing, but I didn't realize they were going to do like a set. You can't buy them separately. They're only sold as a set of four. So you get four different 10 milliliter deluxe miniature bottles. It says you can wear them alone or layer them together to create your own signature scent, and it comes with Marrakesh in a bottle, which is orange blossom, Capri in a bottle, which is lemon sugar, Maui in a bottle, which is sweet banana, and then Maldives in a bottle, which is Ylang Coco. So if you were to buy this set, each bottle comes out to be about $25 each. There is definitely some savings within this kit because usually they price these bottles for like their individual scents around $32. So if you were to add those up, there would be an actual savings of about $32, but obviously you have to commit to four cents. They all sound really nice. Like, I don't know that there is one that I would purchase and be like, oh, immediately I hate that because I don't like the idea of that one. I feel like I probably would like all of them, but at the same time, I don't really need four new fragrances. And they all kind of strike me as like summer fragrances. And in my mind, even though it's July, I feel like summer is almost over. I know it's not, but in my mind, I'm like already kind of thinking about like fall and fall scents and fall makeup and things like that. So anyway, who knows? Maybe they'll end up bringing back like the most popular scents. Maybe they'll sell them separately eventually, but they do come with four different options for $100. Okay, I think that's it for today's video. I have a few other kits on my list that I could go through, but I feel like this video is already a little bit too long. I just filmed a video like this maybe two or three weeks ago. So if you wanna hear my thoughts on other values, sets that are somewhat newer to Sephora's website. I'll link that video in the description box below. And I might come back with a part three for the summertime because there have been so, so many launches. There are a ton of fragrance kits, skincare, and hair care that I haven't gone through yet. So if you want to see that, let me know. But thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. I will see you very soon with a new one. Bye.